When you start out and doing music and then obviously at some point you move to uh, America to kind of pursue that uh, dream or yeah. uh, did you have any expectations or any any um, feelings of how it might have, might be? No, not really. It's a good question because I didn't really know what to expect, you know, uh, exactly relocated to the U.S. and uh, quickly we were on the road, honestly, to start building up and and getting exposure so we um that was about six five or six years ago that i moved to the u.s and mm. kind of been constantly on the road since um uh, until maybe like i said about over a year ago uh kind of got a little bit of um uh, just time and space to focus on the record you know mm. and and not rush it and like have a little bit of time to to really dig in because that's one one of the dangers i suppose when you're that busy that, that the album becomes rushed so mm -hmm. what was it like for you to was it um did you make a point of it kind of saying yeah i was very everyone? yeah exactly i was very clear on that and had great support from my team you know to to not rush it i, I knew that that was important um so so that was that was great. And usually I think it's for, uh, for, for certain bands, it's the second album that they talk about is the difficult second, uh, second album. I think because the last album did so well for you, it's this, uh, did you feel any pressure personally? Because as the principal songwriter and... and I mean, not really. I, I put as much pressure and, and as much affection into each of my songs and albums. So uh, this one is different just because, you know, I'm... I'm not the same age as I was when I was mm -hmm. doing that, and there's, you know, that that's just life is different, you know, from time to time. But, uh, but no, this one is just just uh, felt good. I mean, I have so many songs written already, so that's never a problem for me. It's not the pressure doesn't get to me that way. Like I always have songs. That's not going to be the problem. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's always an emotional thing to go through uh, recording your sure. album and and kind of to search for what each song needs and so on. So that's always just you know a process. Hmm. Can, can you kind of uh, paint me that picture? What, what is it like a, a day for you? Well, like you mentioned, yeah, the day off or something. What, what would it look like in terms of you being in the studio? Or? Well, it's maybe different when I'm on the road and just okay. jumping into the studio one day where I kind of maybe have one engineer with me or anything. But, you know, this studio process has been kind of a puzzle because hmm. maybe I had some demos that I was trying to use and, and, and then add to it or I was coming completely fresh. Um, I decided to work with very different people, producers, and and uh, you know, um, obviously the band played a bunch, and then I was using a lot of session players in Nashville, where I did most of the recording. Mm. So it was really interesting. I mean, each song is very different, and you know, working with different people because I wanted different flavors for each song. So right. uh, so it was a lot of uh, puzzle kind of game. Because then I've talked to this uh, about this with with many artists. Is it, is it kind of a, a a search for the perfect song? Or how do you look at songwriting? Uh, search for the perfect song? Yeah, is is that kind of what you're chasing in a way, or? Well, I think the song better be the right song. I mean, each each and every one I hope is is should be on the album, and then you kind of search for I think the perfect way of recording it. Okay. For each one, mm. so that's a lot of. It's a lot of work, you know. And do you do you kind of have an idea what you want a certain song to sound like, or is that something that uh, comes uh, comes apparent through experimentation? And it, that's different from each one, but I think most of the time you kind of have an idea okay. uh, of what you want to do. And most of the time, I don't want to do the same thing for for each one. Sure. So you're always you know, doing different things, uh, which is a lot of fun, but it's also very challenging because sometimes that takes you know. Some are more difficult than others. Um, and it depends. Sometimes you have a clear idea and vision of what you want to do. And sometimes you don't. And you kind of have to feel it out and try out different things, and, which can also be liberating. And, and you know, to, to leave the creative process a little bit until you get to the studio. Mm. You know, so that really is, depends on the song. And, so, and were you looking for, if we look at the album as a whole, were you looking for something specific? Mm, I think I just probably most of the time I want my albums to be diverse. Mm. You know, I don't want them to sound the same because um, it doesn't interest me. If I'm listening to an album, you know, I'd like I'd like there to be some dynamics for the 45 minutes or whatever mm. it is. You know, 
And one thing you mentioned the word dynamics, and one thing I, I I wrote that word down as well because one thing you do well, and I suppose in your music is is use dynamics within a song. So for instance, if we take uh, "Brother Run Fast," there's a lot of dynamics just in the song with being loud and mm -hmm. the contrast and stuff. So is that something you you play with a lot? I think so. I mean, I think dynamics are important in music and in life. So <laughs> that's uh, yeah, it should. Uh, Take advantage of it. You know. Well, the, let me ask you the, how, how "Brother Run Fast" uh, kind of w if, with a song like that. Where does that start? Is it, is it kind of do you begin with a certain intro and build up, or it depends. Sometimes I have an intro. Sometimes I write the intros later. You know, it just depends on the song and and uh, the time, I guess. Okay. Well, you, one one of the things that was important, I suppose, was uh, the amount of traveling uh, that you've done. And like you say, you've been to a place where you've never been before. What mm -hmm. if you, because I find one of the one of the things that's perhaps uh, the antidote against ignorance is traveling. So, so one, what, what have you learned over the last couple of years by traveling all these places and seeing all these people? Um, what have I learned? Well, I guess. Or maybe just what, what have you observed, or, or what, what did you? Well, that's a tough one because you usually don't have much off time. So mm. I mean, it's kind of common within musicians. You know, you travel the world, but you've only seen buses and airplanes and hotel rooms. You know, that's not maybe necessarily always the case, but it is quite common. And as you can imagine, when you're playing so many shows each week, you're tired as well. And the amount of travel can definitely be tiring. Um, so I've been lucky enough um, to see some of it, but I, you know, I hope to go back and then maybe, you know, some of the place where you didn't get to explore and that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but obviously the fans are different and that's maybe one of the most enjoyable things is like, you know, experiencing South America and how much they care about rock and roll music and how enthusiastic mm -hmm. they are, you know. And again, that's that's something when you start out in Iceland, that's not something you kind of con can conceive. So, no, so yeah. um, what has been one of those uh, surreal moments for you in the last couple of years? I don't know if I necessarily think that there have been surreal moments because I think, you know, if you look back, I can pick up moments. Mm. But as you live it every day, mm. it doesn't really feel like you know, wow. I mean, obviously, when you did your first, I remember going to the US for the first time and playing and seeing Hollywood or seeing New York and you, you know, getting signed and all that stuff that was overwhelming at the time. But since then, it's kind of been a steady flow of, you know, a slow rise in, in my experience. Mm. Um, because I can understand that maybe family and friends and other people, they say like this and that, but you don't really pick those moments out, I think, as you go. Um, Maybe more if you would look back and, and mm. pick it out. Well, this is maybe too general, but uh, when you think about this new record, then, well, what is the first kind of feeling that, that pops into your mind? Well, now after making the whole thing, it's, you know, you, you think about the work mm. that you've put into it in the last 18 months, and I'm still so attached to that. I don't mm. know how I feel about maybe after I get to step away from it for a second, you know, um, then I'll probably memories will, will you know uh, right. be attached to it yeah in terms of playing live maybe somewhere right, right. and don't forget yeah i'll have to play this whole slide <laughs> yeah. have you have you started that whole press process uh yet to, to, of rehearsing yeah to figure yeah, out yeah. how to do a live and yes that's kind of been doing that for the last few weeks that's been really fun as okay. well because like i said you know sometimes you do something differently here that's kind of enjoyable yeah, can you give me as much as you can tell about the record, uh, can you can you give me an example of something that maybe changed a uh, song that changed for you, or or that you interpreted differently uh, for, for the live, live show? show? Yeah. Can't really say yet. I don't. I, well, you know, because of, we've only recently started the rehearsal, so I don't really know what it's going to turn out to be. Okay. But um, no, some are just you know, uh, some are produced in the way in the studio that. I prefer not to use like playbacks and stuff on stage. I want it to be live. Right. So sometimes you have to just, you know, um, instead of huge overproduced, you know, driven drums, you just have to kind of uh, explore different ways of, of getting that across on stage. Right. And well, you're touring 
uh, this year. So, so having, having toured for or having worked for for the last five years straight okay. in a way, how do you? Is that something you can see yourself doing for the next five years, or do you need some a change of pace in a way? I think it's going to be a slower pace of touring, which uh, which I think is going to be great because I'll probably have more energy for each show. Uh, but no, it's it's exciting. I think it's you know it's basically the next three years that we'll be uh, they'll be touring, and uh, I'm very excited to go back to to some of the places. I'm excited about a lot of the the venues that we're playing as well, um, and I know that the show is going to be bigger. We're going to have more people on stage. Okay. and more songs to play so that's very good well one last que uh, question then because you mentioned ambition so you've already accomplished quite a lot um, where's the bar for you well what what do you still want to achieve in terms of uh, artistry in terms of creativity well, maybe even su success in the more uh, for sure I think you know just have so much music that I'm dying to to get to, but it, it's just uh, with time and and um, and it's always a, a process to to make these albums. But I'm you know very fortunate to be able to and uh, and I really hope to just carry on same path. You know. Sounds good. Yeah. Julius, thank you very. Thank much you very time. much. Thank you. All right, that's it. Great.